Hello rail fans and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, by request, we're going to be building the Southern Crescent E8 locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, our first step is to take a dark oak stair to be the coupler and we'll get that attached up. Underneath it, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate for an airline. Then, dark oak fences on either side of the coupler. Coming off the coupler, we're going to put a polished blackstone block and we're going to make that three blocks wide and then two blocks tall. On the side of the bottom, we're going to open a dark oak fence gate right here and another one on the other side. Then on the next block down, we'll do our wheels. So get out a block of netherite, and we need to get a netherite on each rail with an end rod in between them to be the axle. Then we're gonna take deep slate tile stairs, and we're gonna put a row of five upside down facing forward here. Then we'll take netherite, skip one block forward, netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then turn around this way in a row of five upside down deep slate tile stairs facing this way. Then come in front of it, a row of five upside down stairs facing this way over here. Switch back to netherite, skip one block ahead again. Netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then turn around again in a row of five upside down stairs facing this way here. Then we're going to open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. And also into the ends of the wheels down on this end here. And we're going to have to come underneath to place it because we already have blocks above that there. Then we'll come on top of here with a polished blackstone block and fill in this top middle three coming down the length of the truck here. For now we'll stop above where the fence gates are and we're also going to fill in the middle three on the third layer up as well with polished blackstone blocks down to the end of this here. Then we're going to come down here on the next block in front of it and on the bottom middle in between the rails we're going to put a string. Then we'll stand on this crouch and put three sideways anvils because there's an air tank down here. Above that, two rows of three polished blackstone. Then underneath the end of this we're going to put a row of upside down polished blackstone stairs facing the back of the locomotive five wide. So we'll get one over on this other side. Then, in front of this bottom stair, we're going to put a row of polished blackstone stairs facing outward, and that row is going to be 10 blocks long in total here. Then we'll put three blocks across this end, and another 10 upside down outward facing polished black stone stairs facing outward on the other side here. Then we'll come above it and we're going to fill in all above these stairs with a full row of polished black stone. Come across the end and same thing on this side, a full row of polished black stone. Then we're going to take a polished deep slate wall and make a 3 by 2 in the middle. In front of that, on bottom, we'll put four rows of three polished black stone. And then another layer of polished black stone above it here. Then we'll put a row of upside down polished black stone stairs facing outward on the bottom here. Extend it forward by one and wrap it right around the front. And then come around and do this side. Above that, we're going to go all around the top edge 
with polished black stone blocks. Next, we'll come in front of this on the bottom middle and put a string in between the rails. Then crouch and put three sideways anvils. Then go ahead and put three polished black stone above the anvils and an upside down forward facing stair on each side like this. Then we'll come down to this rear end on the second block up and an upside down backward facing stair on either side. Then we'll go ahead and fill in the middle three on this third layer up with polished black stone block and we'll bring it right down to the end of this. For now, we'll stop at the end here. Next, we'll come in front of this on bottom, skip one block forward, and we'll get a block of netherite on each rail for the next set of wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take upside down deep slate tile stairs facing this way in a row five wide. Then we'll skip forward by one, netherite on each rail again with an end rod axle. Turn around this way and five upside down stairs coming across facing this way. Then come in front of it, five upside down stairs facing this way here. Then we'll skip a block forward again and do our final set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle here. Then come around behind it and in this gap, upside down stairs, five wide, facing this way. Then we're gonna open Darko fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. And also open them into the ends of the wheels on this end here. Then we'll come above this with a polished black stone block and we'll fill in the middle three coming down to the end of this on both the second and third layers. For now we'll stop above where the fence gates are. And actually we're going to extend it out by one more block here on the second and third layer. Then we'll come over on this other side and we'll hang a bell on this side on bottom. Next, we're gonna come on the front of this here and starting on bottom, we're gonna make a three by three of polished black stone blocks. Right in the middle. Then on the bottom outside edges, a right side up stair and then an upside down stair above it. Same thing on this side. Then on the front, three right side up stairs on bottom, polished black stone block in the middle and upside down stairs on either side. Then spin around with a dark oak stair to be the coupler. Then we'll put a dark oak fence gate underneath that for an airline. And we'll also open dark oak fence gates on either side of the coupler. Then we'll swing around behind this on the second block up on the side. And we're gonna put an upside down backwards facing polished black stone stair. Same thing on this other side here. Then we'll come on top of the front here and we're actually going to change these two outside blocks to smooth quartz. Then three smooth quartz stairs here and one on each side like this. Then a smooth quartz block on each side behind that and an upside down smooth cord stair facing backwards on each side so your front plow will look like this. Now we're going to come on the sides of the trucks here and put a deep slate tile slab on the side above each wheel. In these gaps we put dark oak trap doors. Same thing here so slabs above the wheels, dark oak trap doors in the gaps. And of course, we have to do the other side. So slabs above these wheels, trap doors in the gaps, one more corner to go. Slabs above these wheels, dark oak trap doors in the gaps. Then we're gonna take out a grindstone 
and in front of each wheel we're going to hang an upside down grindstone. Same thing down here. Then we'll move over and do the other side. Upside down grindstone in front of all three of these wheels here. And one more corner to go. Upside down grindstones in front of these wheels here. After that, we're going to come on the side of the fuel tank here towards the back of it. On this first block, we're going to put a crimson sign. Then we're going to skip a block and put a crimson button. And we'll come over and do the same thing on the other side here. So on the first block back, crimson sign, skip a block, crimson button. Then we're going to take out smooth quartz slabs and we're going to run a row of slabs on the upper outside edge going end to end on both sides. Then we're going to put three smooth quartz across the front here. Then come back one and out one and a full row of smooth quartz on both sides of the locomotives, stopping one block before the very end here. Next, we'll come on this front middle here, knock out this very middle block, and replace it with a block of gold for the logo. Put a warp button on the front of it. Then two smooth quartz above it, a glow item frame with glowstone on top for the headlight. Then dark prismarine on each side then a smooth quartz stair on either side facing forward like that then we'll put two dark prismarine on each side on the front ones smooth quartz stairs like this three smooth quartz coming across the middle then behind it five smooth quartz coming across then behind that four dark prismarine coming backwards same thing on the other side then above that we're gonna put dark prismarine in each corner here and then yellow concrete in the middle for the locomotive number then we're gonna take out gray stained glass two of them coming across the front dark prismarine two more then three coming up each side for the side windows here Then we're going to come down here and knock out this block and this slab behind it. Same thing on the other side. We'll put a right side up deep slate tile stair right here on this bottom edge. Then an upside down smooth quartz stair. And then upside down dark prismarine stairs. I put two here but we really only need one. So same thing here, deep slate, right side up, upside down smooth quartz, upside down dark prismarine. Here I realized the mistake and took out the top ones. Then we're going to go in and we're going to get out a warp door. And we're going to put a warp door here and here. Then we're going to move down to the rear end of the locomotive and put one on the very back metal. Then we'll put a dark prismarine block on either side of the door and on the outsides of that an upside down backward facing dark prismarine stair on either side. Then we'll go ahead and come back up here. We're going to take out dark prismarine and make a full row of dark prismarine coming all the way down the side of the locomotive here. We're going to stop one block before the very end. Then we put another block on each side of the door and an upside down stair on the outside edges. Same thing over here. And then go ahead and bring the dark prismarine all the way forward on this layer here. Mm -hmm. 
Then we'll come up here and start in front of the doors for this next layer. Two dark prismarine on either side and a light gray stained glass pane. Then five dark prismarine on both sides. Another light gray stained glass pane. Another five dark prismarine. Same thing over here. And another light gray stained glass pane. Then another five dark prismarine on both sides. And another stained glass pane. Then dark prismarine down stopping one block before the end. Same thing on this side. Then we can put three dark prismarine above that door and an upside down stair on each side. So we should have something looking like this. And actually we're going to come up between these front two windows on the side here, knock out this row of prismarine, and we're going to replace it with yellow concrete to represent where it says southern. So we don't have enough room to fit banners for the letters. Same thing on the other side like that. Then we're going to move down in between these back two windows here and in the very middle of it we knock out a column of two right here. Same thing on the other side. We're also going to knock out this block below it and this slab. We'll put a deep slate tile stair upside down and an upside down smooth quartz stair. Then a warped door because there's another door on the side here. Do the same thing here, so knock out this block and slab. Upside down chisel deep slate stair, upside down smooth quartz stair, and a warp door. Then we'll come down to the back again and put three dark prismarine across the middle and an upside down backward facing dark prismarine stair on either side. Then, in front of it, on both sides, we're gonna put a full row of polished deep slate walls coming all the way forward until it meets the doors at the front of the cab. Then we'll come back down on the back of the top here, put three dark prismarine in the middle, and we're going to bring that all the way forward until we're right up one block behind the windshield. Then we're going to take dark prismarine stairs and put five of them coming across the front like this, wrap it around the corner and bring it all the way down end to end on both sides. Take out an oak fence for railings and we're going to put a column coming down on each side of this front door it's down here four blocks tall. On each side of this door a column three blocks tall. On this back here we're gonna put a crimson button on each of these outside polished blackstone blocks then an iron trap door down in front of the door. Then we're gonna surround the door with a polished blackstone wall. Come up here with glow item frame put two of them with glowstone for rear headlights and then a crimson button on either side of the top one. Then we'll do our railings on this side so back to an oak fence, a column of three on each side of this door and a column of four on each side of this door. Then we're going to come up on the nose here on this outside dark prismarine block with a dark oak sign for the number plate and the number for this locomotive is 6901. Same thing on the other side here. Then we're going to hit both of those signs with white dye and then a glow ink sack. Now we're going to work on the roof details. So come on down to the back of the roof here. One block in on this far side, we're going to put a sea pickle and then a green candle. 
then a 2x2 two two of iron trap doors aligned with it. In front of that, a 3x3 three three of iron trap doors. Then skip a block forward from that in the middle, three dark prismarine slabs, and a deep slate tile slab. Then we're going to take out anvils and put four anvils on each side, and in front of the anvils and behind it, sideways dark oak fence gates, because there's these tanks on the roof of this one. Skip a block forward, make a plus shape with dark prismarine slabs, and a second one. Knock out the middles, put in cobbled deep slate, and an oak trap door for the fans. In front of that, in the middle, we're going to put a flower pot on. Then another plus shape of dark prismarine slabs. Knock out the middle, cobbled deep slate, with an oak trap door. Another flower pot in front of it. Then, we're going to make two more fans here the same way cobble deep slate in the middle with oak trap doors because this locomotive has two prime movers. In front of that skip one block forward, deep slate tile slab, three dark prismarine coming up the middle. Then four anvils on either side and a dark oak fence gate on front and back of the anvils on both sides. So the whole top should look something like this. Then we're going to come to the top front of the cab here on the engineer side. Open back to back warp fence gates to be the horn. And over here two green candles for antennas. Next we'll work on the interior here. So come on in through this cab door. We're going to take out smooth stone slabs and start filling in this floor of the cab with them. And bring them forward up here. A row of double slabs underneath the windshield here. Then a double slab in the middle for a control stand. Put some levers on it for the engineer. Glow item frame with a compass for a gauge. Turn around and put stairs on each side to be the seats. Then we'll come back here and we'll extend our slabs out one more row backwards. We're going to put a blast furnace in the middle, then we need to get a block of glowstone on top of that to be a light, then a door on each side. Then we'll come back in here and start working on the engine compartment. We're going to use polished andesite stairs to make a staircase coming down on each side. In the middle, two columns of smooth stone slabs till that level, two blast furnaces, and then more slabs in the middle till you reach the top. Then we'll come down towards the back here and I had some blocks placed in here accidentally so I had to go through and delete those real quick. We're gonna put a polished black stone slab in front of each of these side doors towards the back end here. Now come back to the front and we'll do the prime mover. We're going to start up here in the middle, leaving both sides open. We're going to put a row of seven sideways anvils coming back. Above that, a row of netherite. On the sides of the netherite, we're going to put a stone button on each block. Same thing on this other side. Then above that, another row of sideways anvils. Then four netherite on top, and three polished deep slate walls. Then we're gonna crouch, put two sideways end rods. We're going to make a 2x2 two two of oxidized copper, then wax oxidized cut copper stair right there, a brewing stand, a polished deep slate wall up here, and another brewing stand. Then we're going to skip a block and do a second prime mover. So seven more anvils. 
and we gotta get a row of netherite above that. Then a row of buttons all down the side of the netherite layer. Same thing over on this side here. Then another row of sideways anvils. Then on top, four netherite. Three polished deep slate walls behind that. Then two sideways end rods, a two by two of oxidized copper, oxidized cut copper stairs, brewing stand, polished deep slate wall, and another brewing stand. Then we'll skip one block behind this, two polished deep slate walls, two by two of smooth stone blocks, and two more walls on top. Over here, we're gonna put two glow item frames with compasses, and then a lever on the side, and two levers over here. In this back corner, we'll put an end portal for the locomotive toilet, and over here, we'll close the trap door for the brake wheel. Then we'll put a torch in each of these top corners. And there we have it, folks. We've completed this Southern E8 locomotive. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.